All right, so this is an idea that I've had in my head, maybe even since before I actually got the game Glory Days Boxing. Maybe this is one of the reasons why I decided to go and get the game. And so this is going to be kind of like the Elite Eight, uh, the idea that I share with Shootout Hockey, though you can use it with other games too. My idea is to start that eventually, hopefully sooner than later with the 2019 uh, Top 7 Plus the Champion for shoot the game Shootout Hockey. But, you know, you could do that with Mike Owens Quick Play Pro Hockey. I was thinking about that too. And there's a number of other hockey games that you could do something similar with. And again, you're just taking a league of 20 plus teams, condensing the league down to eight. And it could be there's actually a really good comment. Uh, somebody um, mentioned, oh goodness, uh, it escapes me right now who it was. And I apologize. I'm, I'm sorry about that. But somebody did a really good idea about it. And even... Uh, more unique mix or an even like complex but in a good way mix of the favorite their favorite team plus uh the the two teams with the two leading scorers plus and there would be some overlap there i would think sometimes like the top team say might have also have the top score depending on the season and so you probably have to go like you know third highest score and and, and things like that but uh i thought that was a really interesting idea as well and I'm getting off topic, but uh, to, to try to bring it back on to it, and I will actually, this is going to be the thumbnail, basically. So again, if you don't have time, you don't want to listen to me elaborate on this idea, that's completely fine. I understand. You know, I was, another thought that I had earlier as well was like, you probably see me in comments every day for various community videos, but there are only 24 hours in a day. And so there's some content creators that I really enjoy and just don't, you know, one thing leads to the other and I, I just don't end up... Uh, watching you know taking in as much of their content as i might like so i completely understand as well if you're busy and you know you have to get going in this one i'll give you the short version and the long version so uh to get to the latter there the long version this idea i'm going to call it pub fights pub is an acronym it there's a bit of a double meaning there obviously you know but uh it uh, stands for in this case parallel universe of boxing and so the plan is to reset every fighter's record. And I, I don't have all 204 printed simply because, I again, I've got to get to the good print shop and get these done up on card stock and get some nice cards. All that I did, I have the two heavyweight sets, the one that comes with the game default, I think. And then I also bought the extra supplementary heavyweights. So I think I have 204 in total. This is page one from the first set, and this is the final page from the second set. And that was all that I printed there the other night at the 24-7 self-serve. So... Uh, but, uh, where was I going to go with that? So basically, yeah, so I'm going to take 204 heavyweights. I think I'll start out just in the heavyweight division because again, it's not that I don't like the other weight divisions. In fact, quite the opposite. I in fact love the other weight divisions, uh, as I think a lot of people do, a lot of fight fans do, you know, a lot of the best fights that you get actually are from some of the, some of the lighter weight, you know, smaller, uh, fighters, but, um, I think I'll just start with the one division, keep things simple. And 204 fighters, that seems to me like it's going to make for a good size boxing uh, federation organization league, the PUB here, the pub. So down the pub, uh, I'm, my plan is to a quick roll, uh, five to 10 fights for every fighter, just to give them, as it says, they're kind of an established record after resetting their uh, their records to O and O. And what I mean for that, actually, let me pull the the sheet the paper here because this is another thing that i have to learn for this game the plan for that is to use this uh the quick play chart yeah sorry quick roll i, I put quick roll I, sh I should have taken a look at it first so it's called the quick play chart and rolling the 1d20 to see who won the round i'm hoping that that's i'm gonna have to take another look at that actually but i think i would like to do this and then 2d10 for the round action so um yeah, okay. Yeah, it, it looks uh anyway, I'm really, really hoping that this uh that this is something that I uh enjoy because the idea is I want to build up a record and not build it up. I'm not saying like, you know, have guys fight cans obviously to get their record up to ten and oh. That's not what I'm looking at here. But uh a random draw among the two oh four so that every fighter when they come into a fight uh, they have, uh, again, it's not like 0 and 0 versus 1 and 0 or 0 and 1, you know, 2 and 0, oh, he's 1 and 1, da, da, da. Uh, and again, there's nothing at all wrong with that. If that's what you want to do, I think that's perfectly fine. I think what I would like to do is give them a bit, again, as I know some of these 204 heavyweights, they fought like, you know, on teen hundred times, but I'm not looking at doing that. But I think, you know, so five to ten bouts and then guys are coming in with records of like five and two and 
and and so on and and i say five to ten there i'm leaving it kind of rough and wide open initially i was thinking i'll just straight up i'll do like 2000 would that be it'd be 2040 bouts maybe you cut that in half because two fighters per bout so 1020 bouts anyway a lot of fights in the in the initial going and again that'll be just to build up their like to give them a record first uh after resetting it in this parallel universe and then look at who actually is doing well after five or ten bouts and i feel like that could be an interesting mix because for some of these guys it's going to be luck of the draw some of these guys they could be pretty good heavyweights and they could draw like muhammad ali lennox lewis Larry Holmes, you know, or whatever for their first few and have a record of 0-3 for that. So some of these guys actually, like in actual boxing, I think will also have deceiving uh, records. So that could be interesting. And on my phone, on this phone that I'm uh, recording this with, I have um, some apps, some, ra I can't remember, the t I'm t terrible with titles, <laughs> names, titles, but I have some random list counter thing. I've used it in other game designs to for things and and uh, I and I know that I can do a straight up like one to two hundred four, just a list of numbers. And also I can take the number out of the list each time that a random number comes up. Uh, you have that option as well. And and so and I you can do that. You can Google something like that these days as well. Uh, so, but I think I'll have it on my phone and I'll keep a record of it so that I will cycle through all two hundred four fighters and give them all a first bout, all against somebody different. And then I'll reset it. And so again, that'd be 102 bouts because 204 fighters. I'm going to reset it every 102 bouts so that again, every fighter has a record, has about the same number of fights. I don't know, maybe that's going to seem a little less realistic, but that was just an idea that I had and an idea that I thought that I would share. And the reason why I'm sharing it is because again, I look again, if you if you work full time, if you like to play a variety of sports games, if you like to play a variety of non-sports games, if you're a movie buff, if you like to read books, I'm trying to do more of that myself in 2022 than in previous uh, years. Uh, if you've got various other things on the go and you want to do something that's not, you want to, you want to enjoy it, but you don't want it to, to be overly time consuming, then yeah, I, I try to look at and share different ways. And share some ways that again for this for other sports games hockey baseball what have you um high ally that uh that you can uh play some some time manageable uh projects that you're able to uh to you know to put together to compile in a reasonable amount of time i'm thinking i'm hoping that this is one that i can do and I was going to lead off, actually make fun of myself and say, don't worry, uh, it's too late to do it now, but better late than never. I'm not going to butcher this beautiful game with another bout right away. Last night, it was a lot of fun. I'm going to leave it up. You know, I'm not going to hide anything. That was me. That was the sloppiness of my, again, I'd looked through the instructions at least a couple of times, I want to say, but probably a couple months ago or more. And so last night I went through them again. I knew it was probably never going to be a perfect bout. Uh, it was even further from perfect at watching after the fact, watching some tabletop sports Delaware and just going through again the first few rounds uh, over and over of the uh, Freddie Steele, Marvin Hagler bout. And before that, I'd seen Leonard and De La Hoya, listened to mainly Leonard and De La Hoya and uh, just tried to get it all together in my head. And uh, uh, yeah, I <laughs> every role I was like, yeah, no, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, no, I probably shouldn't check, do a defensive check every single, yeah, okay. So there was a lot of that after the fact, but it was still a lot of fun, the Cooper Koopman um, uh, fight. So, and again, I know to the fight, I realized after the fact too, I was like, oh, the cut's up here and I kept going down here for it and there were things like that. But uh, I want Butterbean to fight Johnny Knoxville in a rematch. <laughs> Make it Johnny Knoxville. Oh, that's so comical. Is Butterbean okay? Anyway, that's in the Jackass uh, movies. Now I've spoiled it for you. It doesn't matter, though. It's no less funny. Uh, department store boxing. Do to do, do. Anyway, uh, so I'm, I'm establishing the record after a reset. And I want to do some quick roll bouts in between uh, the feature bouts as well. So like, I'll build them up again, give them five or ten bouts. I'm going to look at who's doing well. I actually hope that there's some obscure name in there. Somebody who maybe it's through luck of the draw. They fight their way to 10-0. and 0. Maybe they get plenty of knockouts among them. And it's like, okay, let's put Tyson Fury up against 
this guy, you know, just to see what happens. And, you know, even if he gets smashed down and smashed out of a cash out bout like that, uh, put put them back into the mix, you know, put them back into the quick roll thing and get them up to about 15 bouts or so. And then look at the record after that time and maybe not permanently, but at least for a little while. I think that'd be fun to do. I think I hope it'd be fun to do. Uh, and so again, it's just an idea that I thought I would share. And another thing too, you I could do it like AEW, uh, all elite wrestling. I think that they reset the records to O and O after a year, after each year. So I could even, I could even do that, you know, where the wins and losses get reset after every single year and then go at it again. But I think again, a few feature bouts here and there, not necessarily on camera, don't worry. And also, uh, doing most, um, most of the building up for it, and again, at least 99%, if not 100 of doing this quick roll is probably going to be off camera. I still have to learn how to do what's called the quick play here. And just, just to give them a record so that when it comes time to do a feature bout with any of these guys, they've got five to 10 fights under their belt. They've got a bit of a record built up. Again, not that there's anything at all wrong with using their established historic uh, record, historical record and uh and or just you know okay this guy's O and O. he's gonna fight this other guy who's O and O. it's muhammad ali making his pro debut against gene tunney or something like that uh that's you know it's completely fine right to each their own so anyway let me know you know feel free comments suggestions things like you know i think that that's a good idea but have you considered this um, I just, yeah, like I did with the Elite Eight for hockey there, I like, I've decided that I like openly sharing some ideas and, and just doing a, doing some talk videos. I really, really like the comments, the input from that video, some of the suggestions. Again, in particular, the one, it was another individual and his Elite Eight. Yeah, I, I, 50, 50, I could say who it was, but right, I'm, I apologize again. I don't have it in front of me right now. Uh, it was a really good idea, though, I thought. It really was. Like, it made me even rethink my own Elite Eight. I think I'm still going to go with what I said in that video. But I was like, yeah, I could see myself doing that sometime, too. Because that would also, especially if your favorite team shanked it that season, that would give you a mix of the good, the medium, maybe, and the bad, you know? And so, that again, that would really be like a, a scaled down, a snapshot of the league. And so... Here I am talking about hockey during pub fights, but yet I'm playing fights on a hockey channel and I just don't know anymore. <laughs> okay, Dave Schultz and Tiger Williams coming up in glory days. No, but um, so, uh, you know, it's going to be Curtis uh, McDermott taking on all comers. Anyway, um, or Pro, actually, I think Probert and Semenko, they they sparred for real. I think Semenko and Ali, I think, and, and Probert, it wouldn't surprise me at all if he got in and mixed it up with a variety of guys. But uh, uh, anyway, so uh, feel free. Again, I start these videos never knowing how to end them. It's the old Michael Scott sentence thing. Uh, feel free to in comments, hopefully anyway, whether you like it or not, it'd be really nice to get some input. And uh, but I'll quit asking about that, sounding like I'm begging. And, uh, and yeah, this is Pub Fights. Let me know, you know, your own Glory Days stuff or your own stuff for other sports. You know, there are there are no rules. Um when it when it comes uh you know to this to stuff like that you know as dave and ron even echoing their digital to dice earlier the fun factor uh where yeah, every way is the right way you know playing on that there is no wrong way to do it so anyway time for me to get going it's uh, it's funny that what i come up with when i'm putting off updating stats for hockey replays uh it's it's some pretty some pretty fun procrastination anyway on doing stuff like that so um even for a 2-2 hockey game but uh, yeah, so it's um, yeah time for me. Actually, I think uh, it's before I head head off to work. Actually, I might I might start computing that, doing a bit of data entry. And uh, all right, uh, I don't have a. There is no beverage here this time. So cheers, thanks, and bye for now.